In this tutorial, we will solve few problems based on EMF equation of transformer. First, we will solve the example one. The problem is a single phase 2300 by 230 volt 50 hertz core type transformer has core section of 0 0.05 meter square. In this 2300 is the EMF induced in the primary side, so which is E1. So E1 is 2300 volt and 230 volt is the EMF induced in the secondary winding so e2 is 230 volt and the frequency is given as 50 hertz and also they have given the area as 0 0.05 meter square and if the permissible maximum flux density is 1.1 weber per meter square so the maximum flux density is denoted as bm which is given as 1.1 weber per meter square then they are asking us to calculate the number of terms on primary that is N1 and number of terms on the secondary which is N2. The EMF induced on the primary side of the transformer is 4.44 F 5 M N1. We know E1 and F and we have to calculate N1. So if we know the flux, maximum flux, we are able to calculate the number of turns on the primary. So first we will calculate this phi m. The maximum flux density is equal to maximum flux per unit area. So from this the maximum flux is equal to maximum flux density into area. The maximum flux density is 1.11 into area is given as 0 0.05 if you multiply this you will get maximum flux as 0 0.055 Weber so this is maximum flux now we have to calculate the number of turns we will substitute the remaining values E1 is the EMF induced in the primary which is given as 2300 which is equal to 4.44 into F. F is supply frequency 50 into 5M. 5M is 0 0.055. Here we have calculated into N1. We have to calculate the number of turns in the primary. So N1 equal to 2300 divided by 4.44 into 50 into 0 0.055 which is equal to 2300 divided by if you multiply these three values you will get 12.21 so if you divide 2300 by 12.21 you will get around 188.37 so we have to calculate the number of turns. Number of turns cannot be in the fractional value. So you have to round it to nearest value. So 188.37 can be written as 188. So number of turns in the primary side is 188. Next we have to calculate the number of turns in the secondary side. EMF induced in the secondary of the transformer is 4.44 F 5 M into N2. Now we have to calculate N2. So N2 is equal to E2 divided by 4.44 F 5 M. E2 is given as 230 volt. So E2 is given as 230 volt divided by 4.44 into frequency 50 into 5 M is 0 0.055 which is equal to 230 divided by if you multiply 4.44 into 50 into 0 0.055 you will get 12.21 so if you divide 230 divided by 12.21 you will get 18.837 number of turns cannot be a fractional value so we have to round this 18.837 to nearest value so it is almost equal to 19 so number of turns in the secondary winding is equal to 19. 
So the final answer is number of turns in the primary is 188 and the number of turns in the secondary is 19. Next we will move to the example 2. The problem is a single phase transformer has 400 primary and 1000 secondary turns. So the number of turns in the primary is given as 400 and number of turns in the secondary is given as 1000. And the net cross sectional area of the core is 60 cm square. So the area is given as 60 cm square. We will convert this into meter square. So which is equal to 60 into 10 power minus 4 meter square. We are converting from centimeter square to meter square. Usually we will represent the area in the meter square. So we are converting from centimeter square to meter square. If the primary winding is connected to a 50 head supply, so F is equal to 50 heads at 520 volt. So the primary winding is connected to 50 head supply at 520 volt. This 520 volt is at the primary side. So this is the EMF induced at the primary side. So E1 equal to 520 volt. They mention it is the primary winding is connected to a 50 head supply at 520 volt. So we are writing this 520 volt as a EMF induced at the primary. So E1 equal to 520 volt. Now we have to calculate peak value of flux density in the core. Peak value of flux density in the core is equal to Bm. The second one is transformation ratio that is K. Then voltage induced in the secondary that is E2. Then EMF induced per turn. That means you have to find the EMF induced per turn in both primary and the secondary. So E1 per turn and also you have to calculate E2 per turn. First we will find uh, Bm that is peak value of flux density in the core. So peak value of flux density in the core Bm equal to maximum flux divided by area. If we know the maximum flux and ma area of the cross section we can find the flux density maximum flux density. So for that first we have to find the phi m. So we know that EMF induced in the primary E1 is equal to 4.44 F phi m into N1. From this we can find out phi m which is equal to E1 divided by 4.44 into F into N1 which is equal to E1 is given as 520 volt. So 520 divided by 4.44 into frequency is 50 into number of turns in the primary side N1 is 400. So which is equal to 520 divided by if you multiply these three values you will get 88,800 which is equal to if you divide 520 divided by 88,800 you will get 0.0058558 so the maximum flux phi m is equal to if you rewrite this you can write it as 5.8558 into 10 power minus 3 Weber because we are moving this point from here to here so we are getting 10 power minus 3 now we have to calculate the maximum flux density which is equal to maximum flux per area maximum flux is 5.8558 into 10 power minus 3 divided by area is 60 centimeter square so which is equal to 60 into 10 power minus 4 so which is equal to 5.8558 into 10 power minus 3 into if you move this 10 power minus 4 to the numerator it will be 10 power 4 divided by 60 so which is equal to 5.8558 into 10 divided by 60 10 power minus 3 into 10 power 4 is 10 so if you divide this it will be 6 if you divide 5.8558 divided by 6 you will get 
five nine Weber per meter square. So the maximum flux density BM is equal to point nine seven five nine Weber per meter square. Next we have to calculate the transformation ratio K. For that we need number of turns in the primary and secondary. N one is given as four hundred and N two is thousand. N one number of turns in the primary is given as four hundred and number of turns in the secondary is given as thousand. So the second part we have to calculate the transformation ratio K, which is equal to N two by N one. N two is thousand. And n one is four hundred. So if you divide thousand and four hundred, you will get two point five. So k is equal to two point five. That is the transformation ratio. Third, we have to calculate the voltage induced in the secondary. That is E two. We have to calculate. Next, we have to calculate the E two. We know that E two by E one is equal to n two by n one. From this E two is you can write which is equal to E one into N two by N one. N two by N one is equal to transformation ratio. So into K. N two by N one is the transformation ratio K. So E one is E one is given as E one is given as five twenty volt. E one is given as five twenty volt, and the transformation ratio K is two point five. So, if you multiply five twenty into two point five, you will get thousand three hundred. So, E two E M of induced in the secondary is equal to thousand three hundred volt. Next, we have to calculate E M of induced in the E M of induced per turn. So, that means you have to calculate E M of induced on the primary side per turn and E M of induced on the secondary side per turn. That means We have first we have to calculate E M of induced in the primary per turn, which is equal to E one is given as five twenty divided by number of turns in the primary is four hundred. So five twenty divided by four hundred, which is equal to one point three volt per turn. So E one per turn is equal to one point three volt. Per turn. Next, we'll find E M of induced in the secondary side, that is E two per turn, which is equal to E M of induced in the secondary side is thousand three hundred volt divided by number of turns in the secondary is thousand. So, which is equal to thousand three hundred by thousand is equal to One point three volt per turn. So E two per turn is equal to one point three volt per turn. So far we have calculated B M transformation ratio K E two E M of induced on the secondary side. And EMF per turn on both primary and the secondary. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.